right now I'm headed to Biscayne Park. I'm not gonna lie, low key, me getting a job again, low key starting to hit me, you know? I'm really feeling it. Technically not even my last day. I do go to work today at five o'clock. It is, what time is it? Actually, let me cross the street before the cars come. Oh, I'm gonna make it. So yeah, I do start work today at five o'clock. Right now it's 12.26, so I have about, about three hours, you know, before I go back to work and get back into that life, which really sucks, man, I'm not gonna lie. I've really gotten used to the no nine to five lifestyle, you know, like look at this. For the past month, I've really been just enjoying the city, you know, the scenery, all of that. All right, let me go find a place to sit down because I do have the one wheel and I don't wanna keep riding and talking. It's kind of uh, counterintuitive. So let me go sit down. Now that traffic's not whizzing past me, I can actually think and talk. So yeah, um, I start work today, five o'clock, which is, it feels kind of weird because like I said, I've been off. I've been unemployed technically, you know, for the past month or so. Yo, look at this. This is crazy. I don't know, man. It kind of feels weird to go back to the nine to five life. Ah. I had so much free time to just be me and just find out who I am as a person, bro. Ah, it's really gonna suck. here is because I wanted to relax luckily I brought my bag here I bought this literally because I love the color purple but yo when I walk in the street <gasps> yo <laughs> I'm so stupid bro I open my camera bag here and usually my camera goes here and I got scared because I was like yo where's my camera and then I realized I'm recording on the yeah so let me actually put my bag behind the camera because newsflash my tripod is broken yeah so recently i've really been into music not like listening music but music for the channel and i've been finding a lot of like really dope artists in the very beginning of the channel you know first off it wasn't even called tied in it was called king Tai, which is so like weird to you guys and it's kind of funny to see how like much the channel has evolved but back then i used to use these freestyle instrumentals off of youtube which looking back was a pretty bad idea because it, it just didn't fit the, the vibe it was giving off wasn't I don't know, it just wasn't right. And then eventually, I started using like jazz music and more like contemporary music and auras and like, ooh, type of music, which is cool, it worked for the channel. But now, you can probably tell, I'm getting more into the indie rock because honestly, that's what I listen to. Recently though, I've really been into indie rock music. I've been listening to Queen a little bit, so I don't know. I feel like for the channel, I need to start, you know, incorporating the things that I use in my daily life into the channel. So, you know, I want to change the music up to more the indie pop, you know, whatever. Before I even had my channel, I used to think, why don't big creators use good music? And now I get it because it's pretty much damn near impossible to find a good song that's not going to get you copyrighted or somebody's not going to come try to sue you. I don't know. I like the new change. You know, for me, the music just fits more in my personality, my persona. I just feel it feels more connected to me, I guess. So that's what I'm about to do now. Just uh, look up some music. Just, you know, whatever. Maybe edit a little bit. I don't know. That's a heavy ass glare, hold on. Um, hold on, can I? There, as you guys can kind of see, uh, this is New York. New York is fucking beautiful, bro. I want to move to New York so fucking bad. I just don't have the funds right now. If I could, if I could, I would pick up everything and move straight to New York without even a second thought. Like I did for Miami, but you know, I can't do that. Uh, I'm gonna catch you guys a little bit. I'm gonna be uh, just doing some work. If they can call it work, I don't know. YouTuber, I hate when YouTubers, oh my God, YouTube is such hard work, which yes, but at the same time, like, I love this. So is it really work I'm, if I'm if I'm choosing to do it? I don't know. That's how I feel. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay. <laughs> the camera fell. Don't fall. Man, this is some good stuff, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, 
So um, I really don't have any destination. I'm really just riding around. Wait, let me come over here. This looks kind of promising. I'm not gonna lie, man. Miami and his views of downtown are just spectacular. Look at that. So one thing about Miami, on the regular, I run into like little critters, like actually not even little, big ass iguanas and lizards and dragons and shit. What is this? Can I get up there? Is that possible? I'm gonna find a way. No, 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 not that way. Looks like we have us a winner. Look at that. Yo, you see that? Like what? That's real life. It's just there. Bro, I think this is an art museum or something. It says what it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it says artists. I think this is like an art museum or something. Look at that. And I think that might be the art museum right there. Can I read the name of that? I don't know. Regardless, look at this. That's, that's actually really nice, bro. All right, so I'm just riding through these. And bro, it's, first off, it's so many of them. Like, look at this. I was not expecting to come over here and see this. Wait a minute, look at this one. Yo, wait a minute. That is, I like that one. That one's beautiful. Should I take a picture of one of these? Hold on, can I like, I don't have my tripod. Oh, I don't have a tripod. Out of all of them, I think this one might be my favorite. I don't know, I just, I like the design. It's just different. Like, look at that, it got like little pom-poms on the bottom. And then like, I don't know who draw this guy or girl. I don't know, let me see. Cotton can, oh, Thomas Flores. I'm guessing that's a guy. Whoever bro is, bro, he's very artistic and like creative. Cause like, yo, how do you, he made a poodle with like whatever on it and then put a dog prompt with a cat. I don't even know what's happening here. Thomas Flores, you're going places, bro. This one was like, shit, <laughs> you know, you get it? Okay, I'm gonna just keep going. All right, I think it's time to head back home now. I've enjoyed my day, uh, you know. Beautiful Miami. This is the first city I've ever moved to, but I do feel like as a part of me that's always had that childhood dream of wanting to be in New York and, you know, being the New York hustle and grustle, you know, of the life. And I've talked to Jerry about it too. Um, you know, me and Jerry really feel the same. Like, we love Miami, of course, obviously. You know, like I said, it's a beautiful city, cool people, but at the end of the day, you know, me and Jerry are just, we're just different people, you know. We, not different people. I don't want to say different in the sense of, like, better or anything, but, like, we just, we think different than a lot of people. I feel like we're more into working and, you know, starting a business and that type of thing. And people aren't really trying to do that here. And if they are, usually the business is something illegal or something to do with something dark. And I'm not trying to get into like illegal shit, you know, I'm trying to live my life by the laws. I might talk to you guys when I'm about to go to work and I'm getting dressed up and everything just to give you guys my last moment. Can I go? Uh, I don't know, we're gonna fucking go. I don't see any cars. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys whenever I uh, about to go to work and just, you know, put my clothes on and just give you guys my last thoughts of what I'm thinking because, fuck, this is a pivotal moment back in my, my life, you know? I've been free for so long. Y'all been free just living my life. And here I am back to that work-life hustle. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let me catch you guys later. Love you so much. Don't you click off because we are not done. All right, love you guys. Peace. clean as fit Ooh. <laughs> yes all right welcome back guys it is a bit loud we have the ac running and then uh jerry he's uh doing laundry right now but um it is four o'clock literally it's exactly four o'clock so i do have work at five so i have about an hour to spare so i'm about to get dressed now but i'm not gonna lie to you this kind of feels like i'm going back to school you know you guys remember that feeling back in high school after like summer break you know that back to school feeling that's kind of what it feels like right now. Um, I think I work till nine o'clock, so I might catch you guys after just to give you guys my experience when I'm working again, I don't know. But man, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna go. <sighs> but you know, I gotta make money somehow. Hopefully I'm back around 10 o'clock. It's so weird thinking like that because you know, for the past month, I've literally had nothing but free time. You know, any time of the day I can go out to the beach, go relax, go to the park, whatever I wanna do. But now, you know, five o'clock, five to nine, literally the opposite of nine to five. I'm going to clock once again. But you know, hey, what can you do? Hopefully it goes well. You know, it is a pretty good job. You know, I've been there a couple of times uh, just to check it out. And it doesn't seem like it's too like strenuous or too stressful. So hopefully it's a pretty good job and it's better hours and better pay. So it's like, everything's up. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later tonight. All right. 
All right, welcome back. Uh, work was, it was all right. To be honest with you, it actually went way better than I thought just because this is a company that I've worked before. So everything that I was doing, I've already done. So it was really just me catching up. You know, I gotta admit, I don't miss the working aspect, but making money again does feel nice. You know, while I was on the clock, I was just thinking in my head, yo, I'm getting paid. I'm getting, I'm actually getting paid. I'm getting money, I'm getting some kind of income, so. And I gotta admit, bro, it feels so nice to lay in the bed. Oh. This is nice, but uh, let me go. You can't even see me. Let me go. Um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I really don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't know. I might just take the day in and just take a break from YouTube and the camera. It really feels like I've been recording pretty much every day, all day. It's gotten to the point where I don't even know, and this could be a bad thing. I don't know, maybe we'll see in the future. This could totally backfire on me, but I don't even know what I've said on or off camera. Like, I don't know. I try to be as open as I can and try to stay, you know, authentic to you guys because I don't want to fake it I don't want to be somebody else on camera but that's pretty much it love you guys see you in the next video love you bye peace imagine if I wasn't recording I would have literally hurt somebody in Minecraft in Minecraft